Now let's talk about the Parker Solar Probe. It's a spacecraft that has just made history. It has come closer to the sun than any spacecraft has ever before. Parker is the fastest object ev ever made. It flew at the speed of about 7,000 kilometers per hour. Do you know how fast that is? Fast enough to fly you from London to New York within 30 seconds. Parker flew at this blistering speed. It braved radiation and soaring temperatures to touch the sun. Touch the sun. But why did it need to? Why is Parker's record-breaking feat important to us? And what does it tell us about the sun? Here is a report. This Christmas Eve, a vehicle travelled around a celestial object at an unfathomable speed. And it brought immense joy to many people. We're not talking about Santa's sleigh. This story is about the Parker Solar Probe. This is a NASA spacecraft and it has just made history. Parker was launched in 2018. Since then, it has made 21 close passages to the Sun, or solar flybys called perihelions. Each time, it has inched progressively closer. But this time, Parker surpassed the blistering speed of 692,000 km per hour, breaking its own record as the fastest object ever made by humans. To put that in perspective, this is the equivalent of flying from London to New York in less than 30 seconds. At such a speed, Parker surfaced across the corona, not the virus of course, corona is the sun's outer atmosphere. Parker braved blistering radiation, contending with temperatures nearing 1400 degrees Celsius and flew to within 6.1 million kilometers of the sun. This is more than seven times closer than any previous missions. With this, Parker has performed a record-breaking feat. The spacecraft has come closer to the Sun than any spacecraft has ever before, in what's being called the kiss of the Sun. But why does it matter? Why does NASA have to go through so much trouble to get closer to the Sun? For centuries, people have studied the star. We've read and talked about it, but despite the extensive research, many mysteries remain. Like, why is the sun's corona so hot? And why is the inner surface even hotter at 6,000 degrees Celsius? Also, how does solar wind really work? Solar wind is the constant steam of charged particles bursting out of the sun. These particles light up our skies with auroras. Scientists still don't know how these solar winds work and why they knock out our power grids. These questions need more than theoretical answers. And scientists say these mysteries can only be solved after actually experiencing the sun and getting data from a probe that visits the sun. So Parker is doing just that. It's interacting with the sun's outer surface and bringing back some clues, hopefully. You see, Parker is burning hot on its flyby. So it's out of communication for several days. Scientists know that it has gotten close to the sun, but they don't know whether it will survive. Parker is making hay while the sun shines. It's expected to make at least two more flybys of the sun, after which it will send a signal to the scientists on the 28th of December. Until then, Earthlings wait anxiously to see if Parker survives this challenge, hoping that the spacecraft doesn't fly too close to the sun.